Hi, and welcome to this Cobra Maps primary video on adding fractions. In this video, we're going to look at how to add fractions with different denominators. An example being a quarter plus three eighths. As you can see, a quarter has got a denominator of four, whereas three eighths have got a, has got a denominator of eight. So they're not as easy to add together because if it was, for instance, a third plus a third, you could instantly know that the answer would be two thirds because you can just visualize it. But with a third or a quarter plus three eighths, it's a bit harder to visualize because they have got different denominators. Now, before we go any further, just make sure you're aware of these terms numerator the number on the top of a fraction denominator the number on a bot uh, the number on the bottom of a fraction make sure you're aware of equivalent fractions so if you need to go back to corporate maths or uh, corporate maths primary.com and watch the video on equivalent fractions go and do that now and also make sure you're aware of how to add fractions with number uh, the same denominators so an example being five tenths plus four tenths would be nine tenths if the denominators are the same you can just add the numerators together Okay, so let's go back to our example. Well, if I was adding together a quarter plus three eighths, as I said, it's a bit harder because the denominators are different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna consider equivalent fractions. Because a quarter, if you take a quarter and you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by two, you will get an equivalent fraction. Well, a quarter, if you times both of those by two, one times two is two, and four times two is eight, a quarter is the same as two eighths. Now, if we know that a quarter is the same as two eighths, and there you can just sort of visualize it. A quarter is the same as two eighths. We can then just add them together really easily because a quarter is the same as two eighths. So therefore, we could just write two eighths plus three eighths. Well, that would be five eighths, and that's it. So if you want to add together fractions with different numbers on the denominator, what you do is you try and make the denominators the same. So let's have a look at an example. So here's an example, two fifths plus a half. When we're adding together two fifths plus a half, it's a little bit trickier. Because with equivalent fractions, we have to times both the top and the bottom of the fraction by a whole number. There's no whole number we can times both the one and the two by to get a five on the denominator. So we're gonna to have to change both of these fractions to get the same number on the denominator. Now to figure out what that number is going to be, what I do is I consider the five and the two and I write down their multiples. So the multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20 and so on and the multiples of 2 are 2 4 6 8 10 12 and so on now, as you can see 10 in both of their lists so in other words 10 is a common multiple of 5 and 2 it's the lowest common multiple and we're going to change both of the denominators to 10 so what we're going to do is we're going to make this something over 10 plus something over 10 okay so with two fifths we want to change that to have a 10 on the denominator now to get from 5 to 10 we multiply by 2 so that means we're going to have to times the numerator by 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 so 2 fifths is the same as 4 over 10 and a half well a half is something over 10 so to get from 2 to 10 we times by 5 so 1 times 5 is equal to 5 so that means that a half is the same as 5 tenths and if we add together four tenths and five tenths, we get nine tenths. So two fifths plus a half is nine tenths. So that question was a little bit tricky because we had to change both of the denominators. And if you just write down the multiples of both of them, you figure out the lowest common multiple, that'll become the new denominator. Get your two equivalent fractions and add them together. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, um, this time we're gonna be doing two thirds plus a fifth. So again, there's no whole number we can times both the numerator and the denominator of the two thirds by to get a five on the denominator. So we're gonna to have to change both of the denominators, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down the multiples of three and the multiples of five, and we're gonna get the lowest common multiple. Now, as you practice these, you're gonna get really quick. I actually started to write down what that denominator was gonna be because I know it already. So the multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15. The multiples of five, five, 10, 15. Okay, so it's 15 is the lowest common multiple. So we're going to change both of the denominators to 15. Now, if you, um, you know, sort of try and test yourself before actually working out and sort of see if you can figure out what those, con uh, those um, what that common multiple is going to be. Okay, so two thirds, if we want to change that to be equal to something over 15, well, we need to times the three by five to get to 15. So we're going to need to times the two by five and two times five is 10. So the numerator of this fraction will be 10. And for the one fifth, we wanna change that to be something over 15. Well, to get from five to 15, you times by three. So again, one times three is equal to three. So one fifth is the same as three fifteenths. Now both of the denominators are the same. It's gonna be really easy. We just add the numerators. So that's gonna be 13 over 15. 
Okay, our next example. Right, so our next example is a subtraction. It's seven over 12, subtract one half. Now this question is quite nice actually because we can actually multiply both the top and the bottom of a half by six so that we get a 12 on the bottom, okay? So if we take a half and we times both the numerator and the denominator by six, we're gonna get six over 12. So that's gonna become seven over 12, subtract six over 12, okay? Um, now this one's quite nice. We can now just subtract instead of add. So seven subtract six is one. So our answer would be one twelve. Right, so our last example, we've got a mixed number, two and one quarter plus one eighth. Now, before carrying on with this video, if you uh, need to recap how to change mixed numbers to top heavy fractions, go to www.corporatemathsprimary.com and watch the video on that. Okay, so if we wanna to add together fractions that involve mixed numbers, change your mixed number into top heavy fraction. So two and one quarter, we're gonna change that into a top heavy fraction. So. Um, again, watch the video for a recap if needed. So two times four is eight, plus one is nine, and the denominator stays the same. So two and one quarter is nine quarters. And that makes sense because in a whole, there's four quarters, in two, there's eight quarters, we've got one more, so that's nine quarters, and that's plus one eighth. Now we wanna add these two together, um, so we need the same denominator. This one's got a denominator of four, and this one's got a denominator of eight. That's quite nice actually, because the denominator of four can be doubled to get eight. So if we take our nine over four, and we times both the numerator and denominator by two, we're gonna get 18 over eight. And so that means that nine over four is the same as 18 over eight. So we've got 18 over eight plus one eighth. 18 eighths plus one eighth would be 19 eighths. So that means that two and a quarter plus one eighth is equal to 19 eighths. And that's it. You can leave your answer like that if you wanted to. If you wanted to change it back into a mixed number, just remember the line means divided by. So 19 divided by eight, well that's two remainder three. So we would write two and three eighths. That's it.